Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Ryuga is known to be one of the most beloved characters in the Metal Fight series, and possibly the strongest as well. As time has passed since the conclusion, many have speculated on the fate of Ryuga, and the implications his survival potentially may have had on the sequel series Zero G. Today we'll be diving into all of that as well as trying to figure out who exactly was the legendary blader that gave Sakyo Kuriyami his Ronin Dragoon. So to give you the premise of my theory, we need to go back and quickly recap the conclusion of 4D. After the legendary blader's failed attempt to form in Susie's barrier, the ruins collapse seemingly trapping the Dragon Emperor inside. Of course he survives this and goes on his way to defeat Nemesis. Re-emerging at the Lost Kingdom of Hades, Ryuga challenges Drago to a one-on-one -on -one battle, where he and now Drago fought toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nemesis himself. Despite a valiant effort, Rago proves too much for even Ryuga, and after using his ultimate move that he put his entire spirit into, he is defeated and rendered unconscious. The rest of the legendary players then arrive and begin the final confrontation with Rago, joining them for support as Yu, Tubasa, Masamune, and Ryuga's no friend, Kenta. Ryuga remained incapacitated until Kenta's battle against Rago and Nemesis, where he suddenly awakens and acknowledges Kenta as a blader, noting that there was a time where he actually became serious during their battle. In his final moments, Ryuga launches El Drago Destructor into the arena, the blade circling around Kenta's Sagittario, passing on the side fragment evolving Flame Sagittario into Flash Sagittario, as Kenta awakens as one of the legendary bladers of the Four Seasons. This final act didn't come without a price, however. As a result of giving up the star fragment, Ryuga and his El Drago will completely disintegrate, seemingly dying in the process. Jingyo with the power entrusted to him from every blade in the world goes on to defeat Rago, and as he looks up to the bright sky thanking Ryuga and paying his respects, Ryuga watches over them with a smile, before looking onto the horizon. Now Ryuga's fate is neither outright confirmed or denied, remaining completely ambiguous, and this was by design. Series creator Sakafumi Adachi himself has gone on record to say that Ryuga's fate in the anime is only known by the team who booked on the storyboards. So at the end of the day, it's entirely up to your interpretation. However, if Ryu did in fact perish after passing on the sacrament to Kenta, could a case be made that could possibly explain his resurrection? Ryu throughout the entire Metal Fight series has shown feats only he has been capable of performing through utilising the power of El Drago, more notably using El Drago as a means of transportation. We see this in Metal Masters during the siege on Hades City. However, even with Ryuga, we never see something as impressive as Rebirth, unless you include El Drago's rebirth into a Meteor El Drago. Then it hit me. Whilst we've never seen the evidence of something like this occurring in Metal Fight, we have seen a similar case during the original series. As most of you probably know, in the final series of the original Bakuten Shoot Beyblade, Kai has his long-awaited rematch with Brooklyn in the Justice 5 tournament. Despite Brooklyn dominating large portions of the battle, injuring Kai greatly in the process, Kai is able to turn the table, keeping Team BBA's hopes alive. Like Ryuga, this battle has a heavy cost for Kai as well. Collapsing in the corridors of the stadium, drones are disintegrated due to the damage it sustained, and Kai ambiguously loses consciousness. This is yet another contentious debate, however I do believe Kai did in fact die here, due to a scene cut from the dub that gives this moment an entirely new meaning. In the original version, after drones are disintegrated, the scene cuts to Tala still hospitalised from his battle with Garland, and as the camera zooms in you see a single tear streaming down his face, implying that Kai may have lost his life and the reason as to why we see him at the end of the series alive and well, was through the Phoenix Stronza, and what are Phoenixes typically known for? Being reborn through their rashes. So yes, in this instance I do certainly think it's possible that Ryu could have survived or have been revived at some point after the battle with Rago, however I don't think that's the case, and here's why. Now Ryuga actually does appear in the Zero G manga and battles Sakyo himself, however this has no bearings on the anime as they are completely separate continuities. In the manga, Ryuga never develops his relationship with Kenta like he does in 4D, thus he never sacrifices himself in the final battle. The main arguments I usually hear in favour of Ryuga's revival is through Sakyo. Appearance wise he bears a striking resemblance to Ryuga, he uses a reverse rotation dragon fiend bear like Ryuga, and during his battle with Zero Kurigane, he outright states that he received his blade from a legendary blader, as a silhouette of Ryuga emerges behind him. Here's the problem though, he never outright says that Ryuga was the legendary blade he was referring to. The silhouette and his striking resemblance in my opinion are there because he is the embodiment of the Dragon Emperor. He is Ryuga's spiritual successor to the title, not because Ryuga himself gave him his Ronin Dragoon. The fact is there's just zero evidence outside of speculation. We never see Ryuga again after his defeat to possibly suggest that he did survive, never mind bestow Sakyo with his blade. The only hint aside from Sakyo's fake claims that we have of Ryuga actually being present in the Zero G anime is a small reference at the end of the series. As the camera pans up to the sky after the final shot, you can see how Drago's form among the clouds, but that's all we've got to go off. 
So if Ryuga wasn't the legendary blader that gave Sakura his run in Dragoon, then who did? The answer is rather obvious. It's Kenta. Kenta is the true successor to Ryuga. He's a legendary blader who we know for a fact is still alive by the conclusion of Zero G, and he's the only other person aside from Ryuga that fits the bill of passing on the title of Dragon Emperor to Sakyo. So here's my personal take. Sometime after the defeat of Nemesis, Jinga Hagane comes into the possession of Samurai Ifrit, passing the blade on to Zero Kurugane. Around this time period, Kenta would also come into the possession of Ronin Dragoon, and would head on another journey to find the successor of his fallen friend, the next Dragon Emperor. Until we receive official confirmation, on Ryuga's fate in the anime, this is the theory I feel holds the most weight. Yes, whilst it's entirely possible for Ryuga to have survived, there is just no strong evidence to support whether he did or not, outside of fake symbolism. Meanwhile, we know Kenta succeeded Ryuga as a legendary blader, and we know he's still around during the events of Zero G. It's fitting in a way that the boy who was ultimately able to gain the respect of Ryuga is the one to pass on his legacy to his successor. But anyway, that's all from me. Do you agree with this theory? Do you have your own theory? And do you think Ryuga is still alive? Let me know all of your answers down below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel. Your support truly means a lot to me. Take care and I'll catch you in the next video.